we've been obsessed over uh, rockets, rocket engines, and space flight since I was five years old. So uh, in some ways it's 47 years, uh -huh. in others it's about 15. I started Blue Origin about uh, 15 years ago. It, it's very interesting because I want to see the kind of explosive growth that we've seen on the internet with all of the entrepreneurialism and the dynamism um, it's been a kind of a golden age that you've seen over the last 20 years. If you want to see um, kind of a dynamic golden age where entrepreneurial energy, you know, where thousands of entrepreneurs can be doing amazing things in space, we can't do that because we haven't seen that in 50 years. And the reason we haven't seen it is because the big heavy lifting pieces are not yet in place. And one of the, I, there may be uh, multiple things that have to happen before you can see that kind of gigantic leap, but I don't think so. I think it's really just one big piece, and it's, we need much lower cost access to space. It's just still too expensive to, right now, only the most important applications can make their way to space because of the cost to get there. And that's why um, I'm so excited about the tourism mission because it exercises all of the kinds of systems. In fact, in the case of our BE3 engine, it even exercises the actual engine we'll use one day in upper stage and in-space missions. Uh, we put a bigger nozzle on it, of course, for the in-space missions, but it'll be the same valves, the same power pack, the same thrust chamber. Uh, and so, it, you know, it, it's going to be the same engine. We will, it'll be the most tested, most practiced hydrogen engine anywhere in the world because it's do, going to be doing this very inexpensive uh, tourism mission. I want Virgin Galactic to succeed. I want SpaceX to succeed. I want United Launch Alliance to succeed. I want Arian Space to succeed. And of course, I want Blue Origin to succeed. And I think they all can.